Very good morning. Can I know your name? Kazim Sheikh. My name is Kazim Sheikh. Okay, Kazim. Can you provide your resume? Yes. Okay, Kazim. Can you introduce yourself? Thanks for first of all, thanks for giving this opportunity to introduce myself. My name is Kazim Sheikh. I am from Surabaya district. I am presently staying at Sarnagar. My qualifications are degree at BSc. My completed degree at BSc Computers at uh, Mahatma Gandhi University. And my inter inter intermediate plus two is completed at Kolar MS Junior College. And after that, I will complete my. I am currently proceeding Java coaching at SP Global Solutions. My hobbies are reading newspaper, playing, uh, listening music. My strength is. Uh, Fashionable and quick uh, response for anyone. This, uh, I'm a nervousness on into something speaking in your. Okay, that's it. Sir. Okay, Kasim. So this is the interview about Java. Okay, sir. We ask you a few questions about Java. Okay. Are you ready for that? Yes, sir. Ready. Okay, Kasim. So it's first question is you. First, our arguments. Yes, we can provide input value some command line. Command can you explain my arrays briefly? Yes, if a memory allocated to an array, the but and if programmer do not assign any value of an array, then JVM will assign default value of an array depending upon the data type of an array. In arrays are two types: static array and new array. In static array, if we create an array by giving say this static array. And uh, default array is if we create an array by without giving any size, that is uh, dynamic array. Okay, Kasim. Can you provide difference between constructor and method? Constructor is uh, initializing the object. Method is uh, exposing the objects behavior, exposing the objects behavior. Constructor is uh, invoke implicitly. Method is uh, invoke objects explicitly. Method constructor has no return type. Method has return type. If does return type is does not return any type, return type is file. Constructor has constructor name and yeah, refers to class name. And method the name of the method has any name. Okay. Difference between while and do while. In while loop, the first condition checking will take place. The condition is true. Then the code inside do while 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 be executed. Whereas do while then uh, code inside a uh, do while on one time execution will the condition will be take place um, then the condition is true in, then the code do well then second time will be will be executed can you explain about stream classes briefly we can read the input values on command form that's it yes sir Okay. Can you provide a difference between multi-threaded and multi-task? Multi-tasking, CPU switches between the programs frequently. In multi-threading, CPU switches uh, between the threads frequently. In multi-tasking, CPU will execute several tasks at same same time. In multi-threading, CPU will execute uh, several threads at the same time. Single task simultaneously. In multitasking, OS will allocate separate memory and resources to each program, then CPU executed. In multi threading, uh, OS will allocate memory to one process, the threads will share, will process shares memory and resources allocate to the process. Okay, Kazim. So, why we use scan class? The scan class is a predefined class. It is non non printed data type that can store more than one character value, okay. and its uh, methods are equals to uppercase to lowercase, concat, caret, length to substring. Okay, got it. So, and it's your last question. What is the difference between string and string buffer? String is a immutable. If we store any value on string object, the value cannot be changed. In string buffer is a immutable. If you store any value on string buffer object, those values can be changed later. Okay, Kazim, very well done. Can you write a program about strings? Yes, sir. Okay, Kazim, very well done your interview. So you need to improve your skills and your body language. 
as a technical learn you are very well so this is your body Okay, sir. This is a string of program. First meeting of the class. Hello. And main method is public static or main string of. Then we can predefine the string. And the object is value is a is equal to string. I draw one. Here I draw one. String b b is equal to string. Second draw one. And we are given the condition is condition. Then if a dot equals of b. System of dot printer and show else system of dot printer and of demo. If a dot equals if these two are giving same then if your statement is true then show will be output and if not same then else condition is true then demo is printed as output and also we given another method system order is to upper case means a is equals to printed on all capital letters then output is This is the output, sir. And then the upper case means the object is value a is Hyderabad. Then uh, upper case means is Hyderabad is uh, coming from any capital letters or as this is the output. Then we can use also b also in one. In b we can have to use in b. Then second row is coming from our capital letters. That's it.